2024 is not the year I had envisioned. If you had told January 1st, 2024 me that come October, I would be living in a whole new city, single and thriving, I would have said that you were out of your mind. Yet here we are, my life completely changed in six months and it wasn't easy but I'm on the other side of it now. And I'm making this video not just to document this incredibly transformative time in my life, but to inspire you because a lot can happen in six months and you can completely transform your life too. I had a lot of unexpected changes and took a lot of risks, but I truly have been building a brand new life for myself. And I feel like I am on my way to living out my biggest dreams. So how did we get here? <laughs> Let's rewind. <laughs> January 2024, I was living in Chicago, about 800 miles away from where I am now in New York City. I was living in a beautiful apartment with my boyfriend at the time, and I had a pretty decent routine. I thought I was super happy. I worked mainly remotely, but I went downtown into my office to work my advertising job about once a week, and I did a lot of yoga and bar classes and ate out at a ton of Chicago restaurants, saw a bunch of concerts and theater. I was also balancing social media and content content creation and was even taking on an acting class in my spare time to have a fun creative outlet, but I was still feeling a bit stuck with it and I wasn't really sure how to advance my career and I felt like I was just living the same day over and over again and my routine had gotten a little bit monotonous. And don't get me wrong, I enjoyed living in Chicago, but it just wasn't my dream city. I just kind of ended up there, honestly, and I stayed. I had some good girlfriends that I loved spending time with, but a lot of my close friends were long distance and really the majority of my social life revolved around the relationship I was in. There was definitely something missing in my life, but I wasn't quite sure exactly what it was because in my mind, I had a boyfriend, I had a great job, I had a fun creative outlet, and I had a great group of friends, but I still just felt this over looming anxiety for the uncertainty of my future, if I wanted to go back to grad school, when I was getting engaged, and where I was going to end up settling down and establishing roots. Then it felt like my entire world was turned upside down when I went through a breakup from a relationship I had been in for five and a half years from when I was 19 to when I was 24. It was pretty sudden and unexpected, but at the same time felt like what was right. And more than anything, this major life change opened up my mind and gave me that boost of motivation to make major changes in other areas of my life too. They do say when it rains, it pours, and I really took that one to heart. Since I was living with my boyfriend at the time, I had to find a new place to live, and I realized that I didn't see that place for me in Chicago. I have always dreamed of living in New York City ever since I was a little girl, and I thought, why not now? I'm young, don't have any ties or responsibilities to anyone anymore, and can truly live wherever I want to. Obviously, I did have to think about my job and finances, but luckily I was able to request an office transfer so that I could keep my same job in advertising, but do it from New York City instead of Chicago. So I made it happen. I went to my manager and asked, having no idea if this was gonna get approved. And at the very end of February, I got the approval to transfer office locations. And by mid-April, I was hopping on a plane with four suitcases, gazing over the New York skyline and blasting Welcome to New York by Taylor Swift through my ears. I was so excited, but I also was absolutely terrified. The first night in New York City, I cried myself to sleep because I felt so alone, unsure, and my whole life was a nomadic mess since I didn't even have my own apartment yet. Would it have been easier to stay in Chicago? In the short term, probably. But my soul just wasn't feeling it. I felt a gravitational pull to New York City 
and I could not wait to get started. I figured the sooner I got started with my move, the sooner I could get settled and start building my dream life. It was a chaotic first couple of months living out of my suitcase, but I toured apartments and finally found my one that I was going to make my new home. It was my first time looking for apartments on my own and it was overwhelming, but even more so, it was empowering, freeing, and such an adventure. Then I celebrated my 25th birthday quarter life crisis <laughs> where are we at which came at the weirdest time of the year for me because i was right on the precipice of moving and at this point i was so restless from living out of a suitcase for two months and wasn't sure if i had made the right decision to say it was a difficult birthday would be such an understatement i was feeling super overwhelmed and was just ready to start getting settled in the city i finally moved into my studio apartment a week later and i was so relieved to have my own new place to call home the summer was filled with so many adventures trips Tips, family events, and fun plans that it took me nearly three months to get my apartment completely furnished, set up, and organized. And if I could do it all over again, I probably would do it differently and be more organized with it, but it was imperfectly what I could handle at the time. And I'm so glad that I said yes to so many social events, partying, dating, and weekend trips in the summer to learn more about myself and just have fun. But then August came around and I was feeling ready to reset and really begin my new routine and the new life I had started to build in New York City. I finally finished my apartment apartment, established a good routine, went into the office regularly, and started to focus on all of my work goals. Once I started to get more settled, I was able to reflect and really think about how far I had come in the past six months. I am truly living in the place I want to live, feel inspired by my 9 to 5 job and have so many exciting goals to work towards with it, have created a plan for going to grad school and have started studying to achieve that, have rediscovered my love for running, have fallen in love with theater again and gotten to see so many Broadway shows, have nurtured my female friendships and have dedicated time to content creation to have a fun creative outlet. More than that, I've learned how to say no to things that don't serve me and really be intentional about the people I'm hanging out with, the shows I'm seeing, the work I'm doing, and the way I'm nourishing my body and mind. I am truly, for the first time in my life, independent, and it feels so empowering. In other words, well, the words of Casey Musgraves, I have found a deeper well. And none of this would have happened without letting go and releasing the life I had before. Being single and being in a new city can be scary, but I'm so excited to see what opportunities come from this, who I will meet, what I will achieve, and the person I will become. Without challenges, we can't grow. And I feel like the past six months brought me so many challenges, but now I am stronger, more independent, and better for all of it. Above all else, I feel a sense of calm and inner peace and like the universe is looking out for me. That sense of peace I think comes with taking a big risk because now I will no longer ask what if and instead will ask what now? So consider this your sign, your push, your inspiration to take life by the horns, take that risk, embrace that challenge, lean into the unknown, and do that daring thing you've always wanted to do, but for some reason just never did. And you too can completely change your life in six months. Mm -hmm.